I'm Garrett McFadgen. I'm fifth generation here on the McFadgen family farm. I got a father named Jim McFadgen and an older brother named Tyler McFadgen, and uh, he just had a little boy named Dawson, and he's going to be the sixth generation here on the farm. And I plan to farm and ranch for the rest of my life. We run just under 300 cow-calf pairs and farm uh, 275 acres of our own land and then we cash rent another 700 acres. So we're a small farm by today's standards, but we kind of work as a team. We kind of rely on our youngest son, Garrett. He kind of takes up a lot of the slack. Garrett's accident happened March 14th and couldn't have come at a worse time. We were about a week and a half, two weeks away from calving. I was by myself. I was attempting to unload some cattle panels on a flatbed trailer and I undid the strap and the load decided to come down and I tried to hold it but it was too heavy so I decided to jump off the trailer. The load of panels came down and uh, got me in my midsection of my back and just crushed me like a pop can and I was held underneath the panels and I had uh, the strength to crawl underneath the panels and then I called my dad. When I answered the phone, um, all I heard was a distressed voice. Uh, I could tell something was seriously wrong. I said, uh, Garrett, are you okay? And I, I heard the kind of a gurgling noise saying, no, no, I'm not okay. So I said, do you need help? And he says, yes. I said, do you need an ambulance? And he was able to say yes. So I immediately hung up and called 911. Garrett was dispatched in the helicopter to Fargo, North Dakota and uh, immediately went into a bunch of tests, scans, x-rays, MRIs, you name it. There was uh, one big surgery. I had uh, two plates and ten screws and a little brace in my spine. There was no guarantee that he was going to be able to walk. We were very concerned about paralysis. He had some issues with his legs working properly. After surgery it was, it was really tough. You know, I had to learn how to walk again. And when I made those first couple steps in the hospital, I, I just just cried. It was it was tough. You know, I, I was glad I could move my feet again. Farm rescue folks, I understand that they had multiple calls and explaining what had happened to Garrett and our family. And Lou called me in the hospital that day, and I just broke down. Um, pretty awesome. It takes a lot of stress off of us. I'm pretty thankful that Farm Rescue come out here and help my family and help me even. You know, they did a lot. I got a couple guys out here planting and rolling. Got a couple other guys helping my mom move some fridges and a couple other things. And I got another guy out here uh, working with some livestock. So they're jumping in wherever they're needed. Four volunteers who didn't know me from Adam. Four guys from Iowa show up here and I can't say enough about them. When I first met them, first thing I did is give each one a hug. It's like the Calvary. They're just amazing, you know. You can't ask for better help than what you got here. Probably most touching things is all these guys have families. They've got, you know, young children at home and wives and they left their regular jobs to come out here and help somebody they don't know and wow, what an amazing reward. I don't know how we would have got things done. They come in and plant for us in probably three or four days and we're done and it would normally take me two weeks. I'd like to be out here helping as much as I can but it's awesome that you know my dad has the help now with these guys coming out here, it's, it's awesome. We're so thankful we still have Garrett and we're thankful that he's able to walk. He's healing, he's happy with Farm Rescue out here. Uh, Garrett can't stay in the house, he's gotta be out seeing what these guys are doing and you just see him smile all the time. I could say these guys are kind of like my brothers. They come with smiles and open arms and they're here to help. They're willing to do anything. I mean, they're not necessarily just sit in a tractor. They need a shower every day. They're dirt from head to toe, and they're just laughing and having a good time. I don't know where Farm Rescue gets these people, but what a great organization, helping families in need like ours. It's a godsend.